All right, guys, thanks for joining. And you know I like to bring in awesome people. So today I've brought in a professional football player, American football, NFL. So I'm super excited because this is a different kind of training. This isn't straight bodybuilding training. Um, your reps have to be quality reps. Uh, it's just, you train for different things. And we'll get into that, into that through the video. But my friend here is Will Compton. And Will, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about yourself? Yeah, um, I went to college at Nebraska, was a redshirt guy there, played five years, um, went undrafted to the Redskins, was cut the first year, put on practice squad for a year, finished out my contract there. I was five years with the Redskins, and now I'm a free agent. Um, to who, have you talked to anybody recently? To the public guy, I've talked to uh, Buffalo and Tennessee. Buffalo and Tennessee, yeah. okay. I was hoping he'd say Philadelphia. But. <laughs> NFC East. Yeah, NFC East. So guys, just watch. This is, a, this is a fun workout. It's very different than what you're used to seeing. And I'm kind of excited to do a little bit of, of this myself because I haven't done it in a while. So just stay tuned and here you go. So right now we're just warming up. We're doing some squats. We have a series of four exercises that we're going to do. And I will explain why as we're doing it. I think you guys are going to dig this. So just getting warmed up here. So one of the things that we did before we started was warming up is a little different. You know, we're going to be doing some training with plyometrics and things where you have to absorb force and all that kind of good stuff. So Will's going to show you some of the uh, drills that he does to warm up. So we've got, uh, go ahead, Will, we've got some, I'll just... So some hops. He's up on the balls of his feet. Now he's doing some, okay, some shuffles, some side hops, one-legged side hops. one-legged uh, front hops there. All right, so for your amusement, I'm gonna try this, and I'm gonna have Will tell me what to do. All right, I realize I'm about to embarrass myself, but what I always say, I'll never have somebody do something I'm not willing to do myself. So all right, Will. <laughs> okay, just tell me what to do. Which all right, one? two feet, just two. forward and back over the line, use the line. Okay. All right, now we'll go scissor. One foot in front, yeah, there you go. Just switch back and forth. All right, now a little more complicated one. You'll start behind the line. You go one, two. So one, two, back. One, two, back. There you go. There you go, now you wanna lead with the other leg. So since you're, there you go. All right, now sideways. Now you'll go single leg. Oh, that's a hard one. <laughs> oh, that's a hard one. Old man cranking right there. Oh, my calves are burning. <laughs> now you go forward and back with single leg. There you go. Okay, nice to work out. I'll see you guys later. All right, so exercise number one. We're going to hit a set of four on the squats, and we're going to use about a four-second eccentric. One, two, three, four. Good. One, two, three, four. Good. One, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. Good. Walk it in. All right. Now what we're doing? How long, sir? Ten seconds. Ten, fifteen seconds. Now we're gonna. It's a. We're gonna drop down and then jump vertically. We're gonna do two reps. So drop down and pop up two. Good. One more. And up. Okay. Take your time over here. 
Our third exercise is a, a jump with bands. So he's going to jump against a band for four reps. Now he's not going to squat down really low. As a linebacker, he doesn't come out of a, a position that low, so he's going to only come down maybe halfway, maybe. So two, three, and four. Right there. Okay. Rest 10 seconds. Now we got one more exercise in the sequence here. All right, we're going to do three reps on each leg. We're going high as we can. Two, three. Okay. Good. All right. So tired now. just to give you some idea, just some idea of why we're doing this stuff. Again, this kind of training is very different than bodybuilding. The first thing we did, the squats, okay? The eccentric part is slow and controlled. Sometimes we'll do a pause at the bottom. Sometimes we just drop down and pop back up. But today we're doing the eccentric. Squat is obviously good for strength and all that. But there's another reason why I like to do it. It's called potentiation, we'll call it. We'll use that word. So like if you bend over and you pick up a bunch of heavy boxes, and then you don't know it, but one box is empty, and you pick it up, you could kind of go flying. So the squat is actually priming his nervous system. So then we went over to um, the, you know, the, the drop off the bench, and then he popped up in the air. So what he was doing is he was potentiating his nervous system so he could explode when he hits the ground and jumps up. Also, he hit the ground very controlled, and he absorbed the force. As an athlete, you have to be able to absorb force and then generate power and explosiveness just right out of the gate. So then the third exercise, now what happens is an as an athlete, you get tired, but you still, have to be, you still have to be able to produce large amounts of force. So the third exercise he did was this banded squat. So he's a little tired, but he's jumping up in the air, producing a lot of force against the bands. Then the next exercise we did, again, remember, you were a little tired, so then we took the bands off, but you got to keep the velocity. By velocity, I mean moving fast. So then that last exercise we did, we're kind of like in bodybuilding, we call those the split squats, right? But we were doing kind of lunge jumps, and he was trying to jump as high as he could with a lot of velocity. Now, what I noticed is he was a little bit tired on that. I was expecting him to get a little higher. So what we're going to do is instead of taking... 10 seconds after this, we're going to do 20 seconds and let's see how high he jumps on the next one. Because again, you want, for this kind of training, you want quality reps. You don't want tired, sloppy reps. That's not what you want as an athlete. As a bodybuilder, you can kind of do that. But again, this is very different. So, and we're going to do four rounds of this. So, I'm going to add a little bit of weight to the squat, very little. The point isn't for him to grind, it's just to potentiate his nervous system so he can explode on the jumps over here. Um, but anyways, here we go. Let's keep rolling. One, two, three, four. Good. One, two, three, four. Two reps here. Explode up. Explode up. Bam. Here we go. Bam. There we go. There we go. There we go. Much so better. What I noticed on that two. is. I think that rest break helped on that last exercise. He got, definitely got more vertical. And then the squat jump with the bands, he definitely got more vertical. So it could be his nervous system is potentiated a little bit better. The rest could have helped. But that's kind of what you have to watch when you're working with athletes. You gotta, you gotta make sure that they're getting recovered and they're, again, able to produce that force and not completely wiped out. All right.
Okay. So a couple things you probably noticed. When I dropped over here, I can't, I don't have the recoil. I'm just not as skilled at that as well. So you notice, I just tried to absorb the force, and land, and then I jumped. So Will's not doing that. He's a much better athlete than me, obviously. And then on the last exercise we did, my arms and my legs were backwards. So if you were watching that and you said, hey, he, he's doing it different, that's because I was doing it wrong. So I'll try to do it better on the next set. Hopefully you notice I do have a little bit of a vertical leap though. So this is a little different. Our first two, we're going vertical. Now he's doing two broad jumps. All right, let's see if you can beat that one. I'm going to stand right here. Last one. Boom. Beat it. Beat it by three inches. Five seconds. Four, three, two. All right. Real high. Higher, come on. Higher. There we go. Now, if you notice, Will's got great recoil again. I'm absorbing and stopping, but he's good enough to where he can just pop right back up. That's what you want as an athlete. Four, three, two, one. Higher. Two, two, three, and three. There we go. Good. <laughs> all right so now we're moving on to leg curls this is just a straight three sets of eight with good form we're not doing these bodybuilding style where we do the partials and iso holds and that's not what we're looking for with will we just want to add some strength to his hamstrings so three sets of eight here So now we're doing some reverse hypers. He's, he's holding it for a split second. We're doing sets of six, three. Notice how he's coming down good and controlled. He's not swinging it. Five, good, see that control? Six, that's it right there. So obviously it's very important to have a strong posterior chain. So we did some hamstrings, obviously, and some lower back. Um, Again, though, we're not doing these bodybuilding style. We're not doing 12, 15, 20 reps. We're not going for a pump. We just want good, hard contractions under control, no swinging, and just really, really building his um, posterior chain. One more exercise left, and we're done. All right, so now we're doing one-arm carries. He's, Will's keeping his back pretty straight, considering the amount of weight he has. This is awesome for your... QL in your lower back, your obliques. Really good core work right here. It's very deceiving. That's really heavy doing these, but look how straight he is. Chest is up, straight. De you guys definitely gotta try this. You definitely gotta try this, this is brutal. So we're doing three sets here. I got a little sloppy on mine. You could see at the very end, my form got shitty, or I'm sorry, crappy. Um, see how straight up and down he is? 
We're walking about 30 yards. And other arm on the way back. All right, guys, so that's the workout. Very different from a straight bodybuilding workout, but I got to tell you, man, that was fun. Yeah, I, I enjoyed learning about that French contrast method, method, especially after doing the two weeks of eccentric and isometric stuff. So it was really good. Yeah, so you guys got to try that workout, okay? Give it a shot. And I want to thank Will. Will's actually going to be here, and we, we have many more workouts coming. So we did one today, but this isn't the only one. So stay tuned to this channel, and you're going to see a lot more workouts with myself and Will. So again, thanks everyone for watching. We appreciate it. Old man cranking and young man cranking. Grain train. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>